Hello, this is Amber Darby. This video is for Liberty University's course on historical professions, and it is on the German resistance of World War II. Growing up in America, um, when most people hear about World War II, a large majority um, believe that all Germans were Nazis and that was that. However, um, a lot of them do not know that there were Germans that decided to fight against their own government. Even those who had a position of power within the regime stood up against Hitler. And although the anti-Nazi resistance did not exist as one big group, there were many individuals and smaller groups that stood up against the Third Reich. The first source that I analyzed was Ernst Engelberg, historian and anti-Nazi activist. Ernst Engelberg was an anti-Nazi German who spoke proudly against the regime. And although he stayed under the new rule originally, he was arrested and tortured for committing acts of resistance. As early as 1933, um, he organized the first resistance group at Berlin University, uh, which included communists, social democrats, and independent leftists. After being in prison for two years for acts of high treason, Engelberg was able to become a teacher after fleeing Germany, and then once the war ended, he became a historian in East Germany. The source concluded that at the time of his death, at 101, he was Germany's oldest scholar and one of the last veteran communists who had participated in the struggles of the 20th century. Another source that I analyzed was Cross Purposes, British Reactions to the German Anti-Nazi Opposition. This article expresses more of the visible signs of the opposition of Germans in Germany during World War II. During what was known as the Phony War, there were talks of peace negotiations and removing Hitler from power, and this was going as far back as October of 1939. The article concludes by noting the confrontation between British and German opposition. While both sides wanted to war and Hitler's reign to come to an end, the opposing Germans did not want to deal with unconditional surrender, nor did they want to deal with any social revolutions. The final article that I analyzed was Confessions of a German Soldier. Composed by his granddaughter, Lennon Karsten, um, Dietrich Karsten was a soldier from Germany who fought and died for Hitler in World War II. However, he was also a Protestant pastor who had been opposing the regime as far back as the 1930s. Although he had to deal with discrimination in Germany for being part of the confessional church, um, Karsten was sent to into the war and died in 1942. The source concludes with the granddaughter searching for what may have been his, her grandfather's grave. According to sources, he was wounded um, by bullets at Lake Oktobot in Russia in 1942. After he died, his remains was taken to a nearby church and he earned the Iron Cross for fighting for a government that he did not support. Thank you.